Well, Wendy, many Syrian refugees are in fact already here. They have been sponsored privately by community groups. That though can be expensive, upwards of $25,000. So let's say you want to help, but you don't know what to do. A group in Montreal has an answer. And in a very short time, many Canadians are jumping on board. Hi, Geneviève? Yes, yes nice David, to good to meet you. Geneviève Azolène is opening her door. Along with her husband and son, she's welcoming a Syrian refugee. So here it is. This is it. They don't have the money for a private sponsorship, but they do have an extra space and a desire to do more. The famous picture definitely had a big impact on all of us. Um, some of us are parents, and, you know, we can definitely understand the, the deep level of sadness. We got a couple more sign-ups today. Azalyn helped create WeHost, the Airbnb for refugees, they like to call it, an online community to link arriving refugees yeah. with a home in a neighborhood and someone there to offer support. You cannot make decisions for your future if you're worried about where you where are you going to sleep tonight. Refugees this group did something, launching a website to pair those who want to do something but couldn't figure out how. They're working with the government and refugee agencies screening those offering a room, all at no cost to a refugee, and all motivated by months of watching terrifying images of escape. Can I ask what you guys think when you see something like that? It's devastating. We're human beings. I have Middle Eastern background. This could be me. This could be my father, my brother. It could be any of us. In under a week, applications to WeHost have poured in from across Canada. Hundreds of inquiries from more than two dozen communities, and they all keep coming. One of them from Jessica Stillwell. She's willing to give up her bedroom, hoping for a teenage Syrian girl, someone her younger sister's age. When you're in somebody's home, it feels like the community wants you there. That's so, the message you're trying yeah, to get. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's not just kind of like, oh, well, I guess you're here, but like, you know, we, we want you here. Shaka. And language won't be a barrier for Jessica. Around the apartment are stickers with Arabic words and their English translations. What's I, a microwave? Uh, I, I mean, I don't actually know the word for microwave. I just use uh, jihaz, which just means machine. Machine. An aid for Jessica in her studies, but a bonus for a newcomer from Syria. So how long would a refugee stay? Well, probably about a couple of months. All depends on the circumstance. Some might be a little longer, some might be a little bit shorter. But even over the course of this weekend, many more people have signed up with WeHost. Wow. Thanks so much, David.